Hello, and welcome to Episode 7 of The More You Know, a podcast about Florida State University. I'm your host, Mike, Director of Social Media for Florida State's Office of Admissions. Thanks for downloading this week's episode. If you haven't subscribed to the show yet, you can find The More You Know on Apple or Google Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you download podcasts. You can also find us on our website, admissions.fsu.edu slash podcast. On this week's episode, I speak with Julie Decker, President and CEO of the Florida State University Alumni Association. We'll get into why she decided to join the FSU family, the ways in which the Alumni Association enriches the college experience, some scholarship opportunities for incoming and current students, and how students can get involved in the Alumni Association even before they've graduated. We hope you enjoy the interview. All right, so I'm here with Julie Decker, President and CEO of Florida State's Alumni Association. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Good to meet you. Yeah, thanks so much for being here. Uh, Just as a quick intro, can you just tell our listeners a little bit about yourself? Yes, I am, as you mentioned, Julie Decker, the current President and CEO of the FSU Alumni Association. So I've been at FSU for about a year and a half. My first day was November 1st, 2018. Um, and actually, this June is my 21st year in alumni relations work. So um, while, while new to FSU, not new to engaging alumni and working at large research institutions like ours with a wonderful alumni base like ours. Great. Well, the first thing I really wanted to ask is what made you decide to pursue a career in alumni relations? Well, um, you know, interesting about this field is nobody goes to work to major in alumni relations. There, you can't major in advancement work for a university. Um, and there are some, some um, classes at FSU. I think there's some master's classes now about philanthropy in higher ed, which is a wonderful new emergence in our field. Um, but for me, and for many of those of us who've been in this field for a long time, uh, you sort of find your way through your network. And that's exactly how I found my way is I was a student, an undergrad student, soon to graduate from my alma mater, and someone knew of a position open and recommended me for it, reached out and said, you know, you might really enjoy this. And, you know, commencement was coming, getting closer, and I didn't know exactly where I might land, so I went for it and never looked back, and I've been in it ever since. So um, I find that those moments um, in that higher ed network, when you go to college and you meet people, uh, that's how often things how things often happen. Yeah, so I was thinking uh, before before our interview, in a lot of ways, you know, uh, we work in admissions. I think in a lot of ways, interviewing for a job and picking a job offer is a lot like applying to college and choosing the college you're going to attend. And since you didn't go to FSU as an undergrad, I was curious to know what drew you, like what about FSU drew you to continue your career here? Well, um, in in my field in particular, you know of FSU, obviously, because it's an exceptional university. Um, the the fervor and passion that alumni have for the university and for the brand identity. I've always known of FSU and, and the good work that's been happening at the university in alumni relations work, much to the credit of those who came before me. Um, at this time in particular, I thought it was interesting and, and appealing for me because you know, this university is on a trajectory and, and doing a lot of amazing things for undergraduates, undergraduate research, um, undergraduate retention rates and graduation rates. It's really been amazing to be a part of the community here and watch that flourish and knowing that my role will be to uh, care for those alumni for the rest of their lives. It's a lifelong relationship you have with your university. I just think it's a really unique time. So FSU has always been on my radar, um, culturally, traditionally, all the things that FSU has going on also make it very attractive just to be here and uh, immerse yourself in in this very special place. Right, and I understand you did your undergrad at UGA, so you, you still get to root against Florida. That's right. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so, can you explain a bit about what the Alumni Association does for the FSU community? Yeah, you know, so the Alumni Association is um, a wonderful resource for our students, our uh, faculty, staff, alumni out there in the world. We are here to help connect uh, our alumni back to the institution, whether it's to mentor or help network or participate in academic and athletic activities. We want our alumni to hire our students. 
we want them to uh, offer shadow opportunities. So we work closely with the Career Center and certainly our volunteer national board is very passionate about those shadowing and networking opportunities. And then we want people to give back, to stay connected in a way of giving or participating in whatever they care about most. So um, I think that's a misnomer a lot about our work is that um, we uh, want money. Uh, What we want is a thriving university where you're connected and you really stay connected through the evolution of your career to what you really care about most on campus. So we're here as uh, connectors, relationship builders. We're here to advance our school, college, and units and their partnerships like I said, everything from the Career Center to the various schools and colleges to student affairs to our partners in administration, we sort of um, weave in and out of the ecosystem of the university to connect people to what they care about most. Really interesting. It kind of reminds me of how we have to do kind of the same thing to help recruit students to the school. You're doing the same thing to help support them as they go through the school and as they become members of the alumni base. That's right. And we have a very thriving student alumni association. We have about 4,000 members of SAA, it's called. It's run out of our office. And those students are constantly connecting with alumni, participating in activities together. Um, It's run by Megan Eckerly out of our office. And it's a great way for students to get connected to their alumni association. It seems counterintuitive, Um, you know, student alumni association, but it really is that organization that bridges that gap between your student experience and making those connections with alumni. As soon as you decide you're going to FSU and you're going to be a Seminole, we want you to feel that sense of family and that connectedness that uh, being a part of FSU offers. Yes, you actually kind of dips into one of my next questions. Um, Lots of students do think the Alumni Association is really only for graduates, but we do have the Student Alumni Association. What are some of the key differences between those two? Well, for the Student Alumni Association, really, it's a chance, as I said, to immerse you in thinking about your life after you graduate. There may be special uh, webinars, uh, seminars for students, networking opportunities, uh, tradition building. Those students work with student affairs on homecoming. A lot of that is run out of our office. So they build the traditions and the legacies and keep them going from Uh, generation to generation, passing them off um, as new students come in and take on those leadership roles within SAA. Then as you transition to graduation, you really hopefully get involved with the young alumni group and start to transition into life as alumni. And then as a graduate of FSU, we really, again, want you to take the expertise that you've learned here, go impact your community, make a difference in the world, and then come back and tell us about it. Share that experience with students. I find often that students love to hear from alumni, no question. They love to hear from alumni well into their career that are successful, but sometimes they also just want to hear from a young alumni, a graduate, five years out, three years out, wondering how did you get your apartment in New York City? That seems so unfathomable to me. You know, so sometimes the the long view is overwhelming. And sometimes I just want to know how you majored in marketing and how you're a teacher now. What, how did your career path take you there? Or those things that we all know being out in the quote unquote real world that may change what you thought you were going to do, but has put you on another career path. So I find young alumni very helpful to our current students with thinking about what their future may look like. So the main difference is, you know, programming that we do for students versus our alumni but it's still part of the trajectory of your lifelong relationship with FSU. Uh, So I understand the Alumni Association has some uh, scholarship awards, including an Alumni Ambassador Award. Can you explain a little bit about uh, about that program? Yes, our Alumni Ambassador Award is actually a great example of volunteer leaders in our National Board of Directors really understood that leadership is inspired by outstanding educational opportunities. And so they decided to develop Alumni Ambassador Award Scholarship for those who are seeking to further um, their or enrich their educational opportunities to become leaders. And they really um, set such a great example of uh, volunteers creating opportunities for students through this type of scholarship. So it's... um, looking at the development of future leaders. If you are looking to enrich and further your education 
to be a leader. This is the a wonderful alumni scholarship for you. And I, I, kudos to our board of directors who really um, put their heart into this and built this from the ground up. Um, I think in the last five to eight years that this has been going on. This is a pretty uh, a new program. I remember uh, hearing about it, and it seems really a really exciting way for for the alumni association to give back, like really directly to to students who seem really especially promising leaders. Yeah, you know, I think that's another thing about the alumni association is the scholarships that we do have. Our clubs also have local scholarships, um, which are thriving uh, through local club efforts. So not only are we an association with dues and membership and all of that, but we have some very strong scholarship opportunities that I encourage students to go look at um, either through their local club or on our website, because we want students to have the, the most enriched um, educational experience here at FSU. Right. Um, so kind of stretching into some of the other, uh, the arms of the Alumni Association, um, can you talk a little bit about the Seminole Clubs and what they provide to our, our students and our alumni base? Yes. Seminole Clubs are a fantastic group of volunteers across the country and around the world, really. Uh, I always say the sun never sets on FSU. Somewhere around the world, there's somebody wearing an FSU shirt and hearing go Knowles from someone else um, at any given point in time. But we have about 80, 85 active Seminole clubs. Um, chapters are a little bit smaller um, organized group and haven't yet reached club status. So if you ever hear of a Seminole chapter, uh, they are probably on their way to club status. A club is a very formalized group that meets a certain set of requirements of engagement. They're probably getting together for game watching parties, volunteer service days, uh, welcoming FSU shadow students during spring break and winter break. Um, these volunteers work hard year round to ensure that when students are from their area going to FSU, that they're supported. When they come home for the summer or for winter breaks, that they're supported. And when uh, they graduate, that they find a place to land in a new community. You know, you have a friend. Anytime you go to a new city and there's a Seminole Club, they are ready to welcome. And they are so passionate about our students and our new graduates and making sure they feel comfortable uh, in their new community. And really, their whole goal is to ensure that the university is supported both academically and athletically. Um, they love getting together for a good game watching, be it basketball, soccer, uh, volleyball, uh, softball, football, you name it. Uh, and they also do some great academic engagement uh, with some speakers, uh, volunteer service community projects through the month of March. They do seminal service days and they'll do work in the community um, that tends to be ongoing throughout the year. It's not limited just to that month. So there are very active groups out there that students can look to as they're um, wondering who in their community is involved with FSU, the club is a great way to to get started. And I think uh, we've got clubs in, in most of the counties in Florida. I know normally over the summer they're doing these big events called Seminole Send-Offs where they're kind of um, throwing like basically like a mixer for all of our admitted students from their area. I think some of them are doing those virtually this year. Uh, with, you know, the with the pandemic, we've been a little restricted, and I guess, how they can do that stuff. But for the future, uh, that's definitely another event for our admitted students to check out of those seminal send-offs. Yes, and they will be doing those virtually this summer. So um, they're great. working very hard to engage and um, have special guests at their virtual send-offs and ensure that you have a student there that can answer questions. And they're working closely with our SAA group. Uh, so look for those. Those are a great way to connect. Uh, so what kind of, getting back to the Student Alumni Association, I know it's obviously you're joining this great club, but I know there are perks as well. What kind of perks can our students expect if they decide to join an SAA or or later on join the uh, the, the full Alumni Association? Well, you know, it's uh, discounts at the bookstore. The bookstore is a great partner with us, not on textbooks, though, I have to say, but uh, discounts at the bookstore, discounts around town in Tallahassee. There's also just access and um things that we want to make sure that we're connecting our members to and people we're connecting our members with, which I think right now in the time that we're in is probably one of the most important things that we can do is ensure that um, those who join either SAA or those who join the Alumni Association, that we're continually, uh, continually um, investing in them, providing development opportunities with the wonderful faculty and staff resources that we have here. That's a lot what we're doing with our webinars right now. We've um, had some great attendance 
on our webinars, um, making sure that we're keeping our members and constituents informed and developing them and informing them on everything from, um, you know, navigating your career right now to navigating mental health to all of those different things. And so that's really what we want to provide members and have them feel um, especially engaged with is that they were invested in because of their membership. That's great. So it's really more than just more than just a club. It really feels like a real support network for students. Hopefully it does. I mean, I think Megan does a great job. I, our student leaders, we just met last week via Zoom. They were ready to go. As soon as finals were over, those student leaders of SAA were already meeting, planning their activities for the summer, thinking through how they're going to um, engage students in the fall. And this is student run. They um, come to our office all the time. They are in and out. They are with us at events and programs. And um, that student leadership group is really a top level, top notch student leadership group, really working to develop programs to engage students um, from freshmen throughout their um, time until they graduate. That's great. And speaking of our graduates, uh, what kind of advice do you have for our newly minted class of 2020? You know, I think um, don't be shy. I think the clubs was a great example of call your local club leader. If you're moving to a new city, you've had an internship that may have taken a different turn because of uh, COVID right now or something has changed. Reach out to local volunteers in your club. Your alumni network is here for you. And I know it seems it might seem daunting to reach out, but truly send an email, um, make that LinkedIn contact and let your alumni network help you through uh, whatever is ahead for you. And you'll find that that network throughout your career will be hugely important and beneficial and comforting to you as you navigate uh, early in your career and certainly later in your career if you navigate a career change. The FSU brand, the FSU network is strong. Um, these are some of the best volunteers I've ever worked with, and they really care and really pay attention when people reach out. So don't be shy about reaching out um, and let your alumni office know how we can support you. That's great. Um, so kind of getting back, I guess, to our students, uh, if students are looking for a really like a really great way to dive into that school spirit, Student Alumni Association really feels like the, the answer. So what's the best way if our incoming students, how can they get involved? How do they join up? So you can just go to our website and click join now at the top and, you know, just click join now and it'll take you to a series of options. And one of them will be SAA, or you can always reach out to Megan Eckerly on our team who oversees that program. Um, And they have a very robust um, social media. I I think their Instagram is most popular with the students these days, Um, but they have a great Instagram page, great Facebook and social media presence. So just reach out. And certainly I, uh, Megan uh, possesses a background in education and is a former teacher. And she really does care about working with these students and ensuring that they get settled and connected in meaningful ways. So any outreach um, we welcome from students and come join us. Let us know how we can support you and would love to hear your ideas on um, what you want from your alumni association. You know, one of the most important things you can do when looking at um, a school or, or, you know, your future is your alumni network. And uh, certainly in times like these, one of the best places to lean on is your alumni network. And so FSU has all of that in spades and we're very, very lucky. So we are here. Yeah, we are here. I think uh, we still have, as for the last couple of years, the highest percentage of alumni giving back to our university, I think, which is a great testament to how strong our alumni network is, is that we have more people giving back. Everyone seems to have such a great experience here that they can't, they just can't, they don't want to leave. So they're trying to figure out, I guess, a way to stay connected. And it definitely seems like the alumni association is the way to do that. Yes, it is. It's a, you know, and we are open. We always say we are here to um, receive uh, ideas and thoughts and feedback and, and create a better environment for our alumni as, as we will have to do now in these times, but certainly as we move forward over the years, you may move from one end of the country to another. And we want to make sure that you feel that FSU family with you at all times. Great. Okay. So I have some kind of fun, quick fire questions for okay. you now. Uh, let's see. What is this one? This one's actually really hard. What's your favorite thing about Florida State? My favorite thing about Florida State University is the people. 
um, that's a, the history of Florida State University is a close second, but I think the people make the history, right? It's this mm-hmm. wonderful fabric of um, women who were educated at a time when women weren't educated. It, you know, um, it has this women's history woven throughout uh, um, the, the history of this institution, which I believe has translated into a very inclusive, open culture of people. Um, in, in our 21st century. So I, I love the people. The people um, are very collaborative. They deeply care about the experience of our students, our faculty, and our staff, the whole, the whole picture. And you don't get that a lot of places, I can tell you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really interesting you were talking about, about Megan and just that last answer. And I was thinking, well, you could say this about almost anybody at Florida State. It seems like everyone I run into has this real, like real deep passion for our students, you know, down to our student ambassadors working in the in the visitor center are just so excited to help showcase their school to prospective students. And then all the way through, you'll have instructors and administrators. And it just seems like everyone is really focused on the student, which, like you said, is not something that you necessarily get, especially at a large state school. Yes. But I think what you're saying what you're saying about FSU's history, about um, the history as as a women's college, I, I agree. I think that's left kind of an indelible mark on the university's culture. This place just, you know, I've been to other campuses. I've got fr- I have friends who went to plenty of other colleges and just things just seem a little more, I think, familial mm-hmm. at Florida State. It really feels like everyone is in this together. You don't see a lot of competition between the students about like who can earn the highest grade or something like that. It's more like a hey, if you need help, I'm here for you and vice versa. That's exactly right. And as someone new, speaking to someone who may be listening to this podcast and be new here in a couple months, in whatever uh, format that takes place, I was meeting with um, one of our deans when I was very new. And I sat across from him and was just talking about how excited I was to be here. And he leaned in and he said, isn't the Kool-Aid here so strong? And I said, <laughs> no, it is. It really is. There is something very, very special about this place and these people. So yes, um, quick answer uh, is it's the people. Mm-hmm. Okay, this, this one might be a little easier. Um, it's lunchtime and you want to go out somewhere. What's your favorite local place to get lunch at? Oh, my favorite local place to get lunch. That's a hard one. There are a lot of new good little foodie places here in Tallahassee, which I'm understanding is new. Like a lot of new restaurants have opened and become quite a little foodie place. I, you know, for a quick lunch, I've gone a couple times to Bella Bella, which is fantastic. Their oh, salads yeah. at lunch are phenomenal. Um, you know, so yeah, I think anywhere that's, first of all, is local. I don't, you know, I want to make sure I'm going somewhere local to get that Tallahassee experience. But uh, that's been a really good one um, to go and just grab a quick, healthy lunch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've been in Tallahassee since um, 2002 when I started at Florida State. And I, you're right. The the foodie culture is, it's it's newer to this city. I think within the last five or 10 years, it's picked up a ton ton of steam and there are people opening all sorts of amazing restaurants especially around campus all sorts of like really quirky eateries and yes. just like the most delicious food yes okay uh so while we're all stuck inside what are you binging right now are you reading anything or watching uh incessantly watching any tv shows or anything like that yes well i'm not much of a netflix binger myself but i did this weekend watch four disney movies that i had never seen before so fun fact i had never Ever seen The Lion King, Pocahontas, Mulan, or Aladdin? Oh my God. <laughs> so I watched four movies this weekend, which is um, not usual for me, but now I know why they're classics. They were phenomenal. So that's been fun to catch up on 20 years worth of Disney movies. <laughs> So I have to ask, which was your favorite and why was it The Lion King? Yeah, right. It went <laughs> down, The Lion King, without a doubt. Couldn't believe. All I knew, I told someone, all I know about The Lion King is they hold up a baby lion ceremoniously. That's all I knew. I had no other notions about the story at all. So it was phenomenal. 
Um, I'm a big reader. I love to read. I love reading leadership books, organizational books. Um, right now I'm reading a little bit of fiction just to kind of not be so serious all the time. But um, yeah, it's it's a good time to catch up on some reading in the evenings. That's great. All right. Now my final question I ask of all of our guests, if you could only give one piece of advice to our incoming students, what would it be? Ooh, um, one piece of advice to incoming students would be go all in. This is not high school. This is not uh, anything to be afraid of. Um, this is something to sort of uh, open yourself up, experience new friends, new people, new places, new things. Uh, enjoy this most precious time because as I have had conversations with a few incoming students and I said, here's what I know for sure. You're only 17 or 18 one time. This is a beautiful, wonderful time in your life. And um, I just encourage you to go all in, enjoy it, be open to the lesson, be open to the lessons. There will be many. You don't have all the answers, but here's the other thing I know for sure. You're not going to have them all in your mid forties either. So (laughs) enjoy not knowing all the answers, ask the questions, go all in and enjoy this time. It's a really, really special time. That's great. There's some great advice. Uh, Julie Decker, president and CEO of Florida State's Alumni Association. Thanks so much for being here today and go Knowles. Thank you. Thanks again to Julie Decker for her time and also to Kelly Gemmer in the Alumni Association for helping to arrange the interview. If you'd like to learn more about the Alumni Association or the Student Alumni Association, check out alumni.fsu.edu. You can also follow them on social media. They're at FSU Alumni on Twitter and Instagram and FSU Alumni Association on Facebook. You can follow the Student Alumni Association at FSU SAA on Twitter and Facebook and at FSU underscore SAA on Instagram. If you've been enjoying The More You Know, we'd really appreciate you taking a moment to rate and review or recommend the show on iTunes or in your podcast app of choice. Word of mouth is a huge help to us as well, so please also share the show with any of your friends or family who may enjoy it. We're hoping to introduce a listener mail segment in future episodes, so if you have any questions you'd like answered or feedback on the show, please email admissions at fsu.edu and include the word podcast in the subject line. You can also message us on social media. We're at FSU Admissions on Twitter and Facebook and at FSU.admissions on Instagram. As always, our theme music is the world-renowned Florida State University Marching Chiefs, recordings courtesy of Mark Records, Clarence, New York, markcustom.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the show in Apple or Google Podcasts, Spotify, or your podcast app of choice. Thanks again for listening and go Knowles.